Hey you guys, it's Geek. In this video, I have a hands-on look of the latest Elgato game capture device that I just purchased. I just received this today. This is the Game Capture HD 60S. The S stands for speed, if I'm not mistaken. That's because this one is actually compatible with uh, USB 3.0. Um, uh, the one that I was using before was the HD, the one without the 60, which is the first model. Um, and it was pretty damn good, but it, it didn't record at 60 frames per second. And this one actually records at 1080p, 60 frames per second at 720p or 1080p, it doesn't matter. And of course, um, the great thing about this one, uh, since we're using USB 3.0, it has the instant game view feature, uh, which what that means is that you can actually play on your computer using this device, your PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One connected to this device this device connected to the computer and you can actually play using the monitor of your computer without using a tv because the lag is almost none so that's something that i want to test out because that's something i couldn't do with the old one that i had and if that really works with no lags whatsoever that would be so freaking awesome uh, but for those that don't know, this is not new. This product came out, like think, I think, like 2015. And honestly, I was holding off this long because I was expecting a new version to come out because remember, the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, now they have Pro versions, right? Now, the PlayStation 4 records at a 10, uh, a 4K, not really 4K, but you know it's getting up there near the 4K. Same thing with the Xbox One S and the Scorpio coming up. And, of course, they also record at HDR as well. So, I was expecting a new version to come out. And I'm pretty sure now that I purchased this, it'll, there should be one around the corner. Because that always happens. Um, the reason that I always choose El Gato is because they work really, really good with Mac and Windows. That's the, re that's the number one reason I buy it. And, of course, you need Windows 10, 64-bit, uh, at least 4 gigabytes of RAM in your computer. This one, of course, you, you need to have USB 3.0 to get the, the S advantage, right? And, basically, that's it. Same thing goes with the Mac computer. Here you got the device. Here you got some cables. Here you got some instructions on how to do it. It's very easy. Connect your this to the TV. Connect the console to this device. Connect this device to the computer. Download the application from uh, Elgato. So we got a new HDMI cable, which I have a bunch of them. I don't know if this is the latest version, the HDMI 2.0. I don't know. Um, here is the USB 3.0. You see here, you got this connection that goes to the device. And this goes to your computer. And it looks that it's pretty thick and, and, and long. And you got a Elgato sticker. And here is the device. You got another instruction manual right there. And here it is. So this is the device. This is how it looks. Uh, this right here, I like the fact that this actually lights up. When you're playing, this, uh, this strip right here actually lights up. And right here, this is the end. It has for um, headphone jack. It has the this is the end for HDMI, and this is the USB 3.0. And over here, you got HDMI out. And basically, that's it. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm I really 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 want to try the game the instant game view, and I want to try and see if that actually works. And I'll be back with the second part of the video. Here we are back again with the second half of the video. Here, basically, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play your console on your computer without using any, a TV or an external monitor. That's the way I've been using it so far. And it works flawlessly. No lag whatsoever. Um, if there is, you barely can notice it. I did play games on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And on the Xbox One S, here I'm going to show you guys with the Xbox One S because it's a smaller console. Uh, the console, the program that you use for this, the Game Capture HD program, you have to, if you were using the old one, make sure you download the latest one, which is for the uh, HD 60S. Uh, it, everything here is basically very, very similar. So here you got the device when you connect it. Here you got the game audio. Over here you got the live streaming features. Um, over here you got the live commentary so when you hook up uh, for example an external mic you're gonna go ahead right here and choose the mic that you want to use if you want to use internal by default 
but if you connect a headset or if you connect your like your blue yeti microphone this is where you're going to choose the blue yeti microphone right there um then over here this is where you're going to put the title of the game and the console of the game that you're playing in, description whatsoever. And over here, these are basically like overlays that you're going to see on the video or you want to put on the video. And I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, but here on this device, right, you got the HDMI out. Here, we're not going to use it because this is to connect it to a TV. If you're going to play it on the TV, you're going to use that. But since we're just going to play on the computer using the uh, Xbox One, we're going to use HDMI in. We're going to connect it here. HDMI in. This is connected to the Xbox One S. And over here with this other cable, which is the cable that comes with the, with the HD60S, this is HDMI, um, this is a USB 3.0 connection, which that means you could put it that way or the other way. There's no wrong way to put it. And this one right here, we're going to connect it to a USB 3.0 port. And there you go. You're going to see a flash here in the screen uh, on the device. It's only going to flash once or twice once it connects properly to the computer. There you go. It connected properly to the computer. Um, here I have the co the controller. Let's go and turn this on. So it's, it's a little bit dark over there. There you go. And there it is. So like you see, this is not going to keep flashing. So don't worry if you think this is going to be a distraction. It's not going to be a distraction at all. So we could put this down. And right here, like you see here, we have no lag whatsoever. Uh, let's go and up the volume. Up the volume there. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and launch a game. Let's go ahead and launch. Let me see. Yeah, let's go ahead and launch this Forza Horizon 3 game. Okay, so here the game is loading right now. Let's go and show you guys a couple things here you should know. Uh, this right here is basically all the overlays. For example, if you hit right there, you're going to see the camera section popping up right there. And like you see the little camera over here lighted up. And you can see myself right there so that's going to add the overlay of the camera right there um, also if you use this overlay puts a camera over there plus it adds like uh, twitter and youtube information and all that information is actually going to be recorded with the gameplay here you got another overlay here which doesn't have a camera it has this right here and this in the bottom and this right here information for like facebook and all that but like you see here, it has different overlays. See right there, very cool. Just the just the El Gato there, and over here you got the Gato logo logo, and you got the camera. But if you don't want to have no overlays, just put it right here, number one, and it'll just be plain blank. But it's pretty cool that you have that here. You could hide that um, over here. This is basically the flashbacks, flashback recording. Uh, right now we're not recording, but the great thing about this device is that, for example, if you're playing and let's go and drive, if you're playing and you're like, oh my God, I should have recorded that. You didn't hit the record button. You can actually go back here. You can actually go back, hit this slider, go back a couple minutes, right? Right there and hit the record button. And I'm going to show you guys, hit the record button. And like you see here, this is going to flash red. That's going to flash red. That means that it, it recorded the moment that we flat moved the slider to the, to the present. Uh, right now, it's actually recording too as well. If you hit here, it will stop recording. If you hit it again, it will start recording there. Very cool. So right now it's actually recording. You see that flash red. And now we could play here the game with no lag whatsoever. Press break. There you go. Uh, you want to go full screen. All you got to do is over here, just put a full screen. And the great thing is that when you hit full screen, it will automatically go full screen as well. So, and that's the great thing about this version of the HD 60 S because now you can play on the device on your computer. There we go. 
Let's go ahead and start a race right here. You can play now. You can play on the computer without a monitor, and there is basically no lag whatsoever, which is awesome. That is so cool. So that's awesome because um, on the HD, the other game capture that I had, it was basically impossible because it always had like a three second second delay. And with three second delay, there's no way you could play a game on your computer. You, you had to have a TV connected to the device for it to work. You know, for you to play video games, you it obligated you to have a TV. So here, this is awesome. You don't need a TV. You could use your computer as your external monitor for your console. Now, keep in mind, on the PlayStation 4, you have to make sure you turn off the HDCP feature. Uh, for that, all you got to do is go to, go to settings, then go to system. And in system, there's going to be an option that says enable HDCP, something like that. Make sure you uncheck that before you unhook it from the TV. Uh, that way, when you hook it up to this device, if you don't do it before you unhook it from the TV, you're just going to get like a black screen or the screen is going to be like flashing because it's not going to let you uh, play the video game because it, the HDMI is actually protected for because of copyright issue. Uh, this game is so freaking awesome. You see there? Just like that. As your There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so like you see there, it works perfectly good. We get in the car. No. Oop. So right now, when you're done with recording, all you gotta do is right now, like you see there, it was still recording. Right now, we hit the record button again to stop recording. There you go, to the flashing again. And now we could go ahead and minimize here. Let's go ahead and press this. Get out of here. Let's get out of there. Um, over here, you go to my edits, and right here you can see the gameplay. This is the first video that we recorded from the flashback, and like you see there, it recorded this section right here, and you can see that the camera, when I was talking and changing the the these templates, you can actually see it on the screen changing as well so like you see there it was recording it recorded like uh, i think it recorded like two minutes and a half there you see there pretty cool and over here this is when i press the button the record button again and this is the other file you see there really cool really 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 cool that's really nice so, of course, from here, from this application, you can also, for example, if I want to tap right there and I want to cut it, I want to cut right there. There you go. Now I could go ahead and delete this section right here. Bump. And now the video starts right there. Uh, right now, like you see there, it was actually recording the other game as well. So I recorded both gameplays in the same file. So he's got this other gameplay right there. And it's actually recording at 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is awesome. Okay, so here we loaded Power Golf, which is a free game, a golf game for the Xbox One. Um, it's pretty cool. I re really like it a lot. Um, over here, you can see it's recording at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Uh, right now, it's not recording, but let's go ahead and press record button. Go to press record right there, and it's starting to record right there. And now we can go ahead and press right here and 
There you go. You see there? I think that was a bad shot. No, okay, it was a good shot back right there. Not bad. So, that's awesome. That is so freaking awesome that you can actually use... Let's see what we can see over here. There you go. Okay. And there you go. There you go. Like you see there, you have to be precise when it comes to the location where you hit the button and then you release the button again and you hit it the second time. It requires a lot of time precision. And like you see there, it didn't miss at all my location that I wanted to. So right here, you got it right there. Cool. Wind is blowing a little bit this way. Let's go ahead and there you go. Oh, look at that right in the middle. Perfect shot. That was a perfect freaking shot. There you go. And let's go ahead. We should finish right there. Wind putting. I got it. There you go. And that's it. <laughs> there you go. So, like you see there, it is possible to play your console on your computer without an external monitor using this device, the Elgato HD 60S. Um, let's go ahead and click right here again. And right now we're gonna stop the recording. Dun -dun. Stop the recording. You see that flashes again. And if we go over here, the recording is right there. There you go. My gameplay is right there. And from here, you can actually share the gameplay on YouTube, you can share it on Facebook, you can share it on, on, on Twitter, email it, you can share, share it on an iPad, iPhone, ProRes, or share it to an Apple TV. Of course, here you can edit the video. If you want to cut the, the beginning and the end a little bit, you want to trim it, you could do it from right here as well. It makes the file a little bit smaller as well. And that's it. So guys, just want to share this video with you guys. Like I said before, it is compatible with every console out there in the market. But remember, for you to have the game view, the instant game view, which allows you to play on the computer, your computer needs to have a USB 3.0 port. Well, if you have only one, that's good enough. Other than that, that's it. And here, all you need is the HDMI from your comp from your console to the Elgato, and this right here, which is the USB cable to the computer. And like you see there, you don't even need to connect an HDMI to your computer. So your computer doesn't even need to have an HDMI input, just a USB 3.0 input, Port, and that's it so guys that's it for this video thanks for watching this video i hope it helps out you guys i will leave a link in my description so if you want to buy this or you want to read a little bit more about this so you can get it from there and use my link and help my channel so thanks for watching the video guys till next time